I suppose it's always hard to say why any theoretical question is important and why anybody should care about it if it hasn't got any sort of immediate practical implications. Uh, I suppose, for one thing, it, it has got some implications. I mean, if we're animals, it follows that we existed, that we were once embryos, that we came into existence quite early in, uh, 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 in our mother's pregnancy. Uh, so, and this has implications for the morality of abortion, for example. You can't argue that abortion is okay because the person does not yet exist at that stage. Uh, 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 I was once a tiny embryo, whether or not I was a person there uh, uh, at that time. And likewise, if I'm an animal, then it's possible for me to exist in an irreversible vegetative state. Uh, whether or not my life would have any, any value for me then. Uh, so that's, it does have implications for practical ethics. And I suppose it has implications in other, in more theoretical implications in other areas of philosophy. I mean, I, it seems to me the, the, the view that we're not animals or the, 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 the anti-animalist sort of thinking seems to me a sort of, a sort of dualism. It's something that, that is inspired by Plato and Descartes and those kinds of people, which, uh, 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 I mean, I suppose philosophy has been trying to cast off uh, Cartesianism and dualism for, for, for some time now, for about you know, a, a century or so, and I think the process is still, is, 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 is still incomplete. Uh, so I suppose I see the debate as, as, uh, as as a part of that sort of of that sort of process, it, it's, it's coming to terms with with the Cartesian legacy.